Small and medium are the backbone of the economy. The UAE economy traditionally is heavily in the government structure side. We needed to create entrepreneurship, spirit, culture, and encourage young Emirati to become successful entrepreneurs. Summing up the spirit of the past, we look at how the UAE is turning back time to diversify its economy and focus on entrepreneurs. Very nice. And a fashion designer family duo from London go back to the roots and open a boutique in Lebanon. We pay first world rates for everything with a third world service quality, which makes no sense. But high costs and a crumbling economy derailed their plans. We're in the Souk at Central Market, which as you can see has been modernized in the last few years. In the same spirit, the UAE is trying to do the same with its economy. Usually small and medium-sized enterprises are the lifeblood of a country for both job creation and innovation. But that's been harder to deliver in the Middle East. Some are now taking a more innovative approach. The entrepreneurial spirit runs deep here in the UAE. It was there amongst the Bedouin traders of its vast deserts and the pearl fishermen along its coastline. For centuries, Emiratis built family trading groups, active street markets, and relied upon their enterprise to create wealth and opportunity. Yet the rapid economic expansion ushered in by the discovery of oil changed things. Since the birth of the state back in 1971, the UAE has been transformed and so has its people. Today, government agencies and state-run companies like the oil giant Adnoc dominate the economy. According to the UAE Ministry of Labor, about 90% of Emiratis in the workforce are employed by their government in some form or another. The UAE does have nearly 200,000 entrepreneurs according to Dubai's Department of Economic Development, but the government says not enough of them are Emirati nationals. Immigrants and non-nationals drive the UAE's private sector. The UAE government says there should be more opportunities, and it has identified that it alone cannot be relied upon to provide them for its growing population. So officials designated 2013 the year of emeritization and embarked on a major push to get more nationals working for themselves or in the private sector. It has launched a range of initiatives to encourage the private sector to employ more nationals, created workshops and employment fairs to bring private sector job opportunities. It also offers a range of financial incentives for them to set up their own businesses. They say to change the current reliance on government job creation will take time. It requires a change in the mindset of young Emiratis and a reconnection to an entrepreneurial spirit, the roots of which run deep here in the UAE. That business spirit was on display this week in Abu Dhabi. The entrepreneurship forum brought together local startups and global players like the co-founder of YouTube, Chad Hurley to discuss the challenges of setting up a business. The biggest challenge, of course, is understanding what, you, you, what, what are you getting into. Now, uh, everyone tells you, set up a business, you're going to be rich the next day. Set up a business, it's, this is the market. But then there's so many risks that you don't, want, you don't know about, and a lot of the times you, never, you were never taught that. Well, my biggest challenge as an uh, Emirati entrepreneur to enter in a business which has to do with uh, testing services was how to really compete with the pre-existing companies, international companies, which they are doing this for a long time. My biggest challenge is to get my products to the market. So it's not easy. There is a, a lot of competitive in this uh, kind of business. Uh, my biggest challenge was doing uh, time management, which is uh, doing the business plan while studying in university. Another challenge is that once you set up the company, then you have to make sure that you are keeping up with the rest of the competitors in the market. So there is no really a time for relaxation, but to keep working and working hard. The Khalifa Fund was set up six years ago to help budding entrepreneurs in the UAE turn their business ideas into reality, the fund offers grants, mentorship, and technical advice to Emirati nationals. Since 2007, 
the Khalifa Fund has supported over 450 companies to the tune of over $120 million. The fund is headed by Hussein al nawais a man steeped in the tradition of entrepreneurship. I come from a family of business. Myself, I am a businessman, and uh, it's fun, it's passionate, I'm passionate about it. And one of the greatest things I feel about Khalifa Fund, when I see a young man or woman with the spark in their eyes that they want to become a successful businessman, we encourage them, we train them, we develop them, we try to uh, maximize their passion. I always tell them, if you want to be successful, be in love with what you do. But after this wealth creation over the last 40 years, uh, this next generation seems to be quite comfortable working in government. It creates 90% of the jobs. How do you change the mentality, which is crucial? That's true. The tradi traditionally, young entrepreneurs' first choice of employment are government. But then again, the government have only limited capacity of employing these young uh, men and women. So that we need to create new venues, new opportunities for them. Hence is the creation of Khalifa Fund. This is part of a bigger strategy of amortization to get uh, nationals working. We see this in Saudi Arabia, we see this in Qatar. Uh, what's the success rate of amortization would you suggest so far? You have to worry about not pushing expats out of the economy at the same time. How do you balance that out? It is a challenging balance because on one hand, you need to create a job for your own people. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you need the skills and the experience of the expats. So in my philosophy and the organization I'm responsible for, I have always did the shadow. We have a young Emirati shadowing and experienced expatriates for a period of time, learning from them. Khalifa Fund, on the other hand, from funding point of view, it create opportunities for Emiratis because we only support an Emirati nationals for funding. So that is in another way creating job opportunities. Hussein al is on supporting entrepreneurs here in the UAE. Well, Lebanon, of course, is no stranger to business and fashion, for that matter. When we come back, we profile a sibling duo who have had to alter their strategy for boutiques in the region because of the situation in Lebanon and neighboring Syria. When Marketplace Middle East continues.